Yo, what's up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking John 64, and today we're going to be talking about the Monday night game between the New York Giants and the Detroit Lions. Now, a little bit of information, guys. I am a big New York Giants fan since 2004. And before that, I used to be a Tennessee Titans fan when Steve McNair was the, with the Tennessee Titans, Eddie George, Samari Roll, Derek Mason, Keith Bullock, Javon Curse. You know, they had a pretty much of a stacked team since 2001. And uh, that's why I was a big fan from the Tennessee Titans. You know, they had these underdog players and, you know, they were pretty much standing out. So that's why I was going for the Tennessee Titans back in 2001. Before that, I used to go for the New York Giants like for three years. So, um, so yeah, I mean, I'm a big New York Giants fan since a long time ago. But the real time started when 2004, when Michael Strahan pretty much is, was starting to stand out. And I was like, you know what? This team is my team. It looks very underdogish. looks very, you know... Like, they want to play the game, and Michael Strahan was in the team, Kurt Warner, Eli Manning barely got drafted, Tom Coughlin, you know, all these new faces, and I was like, this is my favorite team now. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, I witnessed two Super Bowls for my team, and it was amazing. It was an amazing feeling, a feeling that uh, much of the Cowboys fans won't feel, like, for the longest time with it, because, uh, you know, they pretty much have Jerry Jones as their general manager, so, yeah. I like to keep, you know, talking smack about the Dallas Cowboys because I'm a big hater. So, um, so yeah, watch out, Dallas Cowboys fan. I might pull out a meme on you. So, anyways, big New York Giants uh, fan, and um, I do have three jerseys: Brandon Jacobs, Michael Strahan, and Jason Perry Paul. Also, I have some few caps here and there of the New York Giants. I think you guys saw it in the vlogs. So, anyways, a uh, little bit of review previews of, uh, you know, of this game, the Monday night game between the New York Giants and the Detroit Lions. Is that um you know one of the things that really worry me the most about the New York Giants is their offensive lineman. Look at their offensive lineman. That's the first time you ever seen these guys together. The first time ever. They never played together before, and uh, I I believe there's two starters injured. So these guys are going up against the best defensive lineman in the whole NFL with against Ezekiel Anza. Uh, Namda Gasu um, and Farley and, and I forgot who the other defensive end is, but you know these guys are dynamic. They're speedsters. They they know how to stop the run. You know run stoppers and also pass rushing. These guys are skilled, and that's what worries me the most because these guys are you know these elite defensive linemen are going up against a weak offensive lineman. That's the only weak thing about the New York Giants. The offensive lineman. And on defense is the linebackers because most of these guys don't even know how to tackle. But um, I don't know. I think Elaine Man is going to struggle a little bit. Well, not even a little bit. The whole damn game because that O-line ain't going to protect the running back or the quarterback. If the O-line was to step up and finally bond together, they are going to win the game. But so far, I see the New York Giants winning 14-10. It's going to be a very low scoring game since the O-line can't hold that defensive line for the longest time so we're going to be able to see a lot of three and outs with the new york giants offense while detroit i think it's going to struggle a lot in offense because you know the secondary from the new york giants has improved i mean if you look at the cornerbacks dominic rogers kamardi prince Amu kamara walter thurman the third zachary bowman at safety we got Andrew roll and stevie brown all these guys pretty much create a whole big ass blanket on the outside of the field can't throw deep against these guys they know how to man cover so we're gonna be able to see a lot of man coverage from the defense and uh hopefully colin johnson gets teamed up with uh with a safety or something because i don't want that guy to be in deep this guy's gonna actually jump for the goddamn ball and it's dangerous because these corners the only tallest one we have is prince of mukamara so I'm, I'm wishing prince of mukamara good luck against calvin johnson because that guy's a beast man so so yeah guys um you know, that D-line also needs to step up. Just in pre Paul, you need to wake your ass up. I know you can get them sacks, but lately you've been, like, kind of sloppy, which is worrying me a lot. You know, you were supposed to be the next Michael Strahan or Ozil Manura, Justin Tuck. You know, I just want this guy to step up already. So that's it for now, guys. You know, I believe my New York Giants are going to win 14-10, to and the Detroit Lions, you know, are going to struggle in offense against that secondary from the New York Giants. So most of the time, I believe they're going to give it to Reggie Bush. So that's it for now, guys. Hopefully, you guys like my opinion. If you guys got any opinion about the Monday night game between the New York Giants and the Detroit Lions, please let me know in the comment section. I would like to know your opinion. So um, if you guys want to see more opinions about, you know, previous games from the NFL Sundays or about the current games, please let me know. So subscribe for more.